Whoa, we see Google TV logo. Today I'm going to show you how to install Google TV on your Windows PC. And for this, we're going to use Android Studio. During the installation process, I noticed that Android 14 beta version is already available, so this news will be great for many users. So let's get it started. First of all, we need to open our browser. In my case, I will use Google Chrome browser. Click on it. Then you need to type next. Android Studio and press enter. After that, you will see this website. We need to click on it. Link will be in the video description. On this page, you need to click on download Android Studio. Scroll down a little bit. Check this option and click download Android Studio. Great, now you just need to wait until file will be downloaded on our system. As you can see, the installation file of Android Studio take almost one gigabyte of space. After downloading, we need to open it and install it. Click here. Also, we can close the browser. In this window, click Next. Check both of these options, Android Studio, Android Virtual Device. Click here. One more time, click on Next and install. Simply to understand, you just need to check and install all files. Then click on Next. And finally, let's launch the application. Import Android Studio setting. In my case, I will select Do not import setting. Click OK. We are in Android Studio. We need to click Next. Now you may see a next message. Choose the type of setup you want for Android Studio. So I recommend to select Standard, but if you wish, you can click on Custom, but it all depends on you. After that, click on Next. Now you can select Dim, Dark or Light. I will select Dark. Click here. One more time, click on Next. Please pay attention because it is important to accept term and conditions. You need to click here, Accept. Then one more time, click here, accept, and the last time, Intel Android Extra License, accept. After hold this process, you need to click finish, and you need to wait until all files will be downloaded on your laptop or PC. Of course, it will depend on your internet speed. It may take some time, so be patient and take your time. After installation, you need to several times click on yes, and then you will see this window, downloading components. Click on finish. Great, welcome to Android Studio. In this case, we need to click on more actions and select SDK Manager. So you may see a bunch of Android version, but we will select Android 13. And also I recommend to check all of these options. Click OK. One more time, click OK. Please wait until all necessary files will be downloaded and installed on your system. In general, it will depend on your internet speed and internet connection, so in this case you also need to wait. That's okay. After installation, you need to click Finish. So what to do next to launch Google TV on Windows PC? I will show you. One more time, you need to click on More Actions, but this time you need to select a Virtual Device Manager. In this window, you may see Pixel 3a by default, but we need to create another device. For this, you need to find in upper left corner Create Device, click on it, and we need to scroll down a little bit until you will see TV. Click here, then you can decide which resolution will suit you the best. I will select Full HD, click Next. Please take a close look. You need to click on X86 images. Now you are able to decide which version do you want to download, Google TV or Android TV. So I will download Google TV, click on this icon, downloading process begin and that's good. One more time, it will depend on your internet speed, we need to wait and then we will proceed to the next stage. Installation complete, so you need to click on finish. As you can see, new option appear next, so we need to click here. In this window, you can name your device as you wish. I will leave by default Android TV. Also, of course, you can change some option. For the example, I recommend to click here on graphics. As you can see, by default, you have automatic, but I recommend to select hardware. Then I will uncheck this option. Let's select show advanced setting to tweak some options. 
we can scroll down a little bit. I will select call boot. As you can see, call boot star as from power up. Again, scroll down a little bit. You can decide how many cores do you want to use. As you can see, by default, I have four cores. Actually, it will all depend on your system. If we're talking about RAM, I will allocate 8 gigabyte. I have 16 gigabytes, so 8 gigabyte will be the best solution. I will select gigabytes and type 8. Scroll down. Here we can allocate storage space. I will select gigabyte. In this case, I will not go too crazy, so I will allocate 5 gigabyte. I think it will be more than enough. After you set up your system, you can click finish. And finally, we can launch Android TV. Sorry, Google TV. Click here. Wait a sec. Hello. Whoa, we see Google TV logo. I want to remind you that I'm running this application Android Studio on Windows 10. Also, it will work on Windows 11 without any problem. We see the next message. You're connected. Set up Google TV. Click here. And now we need to sign in our Google account. I think it will be not complicated, so you just need to sign in your Google account. I successfully signed in my Google account, and that's a great news. Also, I want to show you that you can change the size of the screen. You can click here, and whoop, you can change the size of the screen. If you take a close look on the upper right corner, you may see some options. You can turn off or on the TV we can hit on some of this icon. For the example, I will click here and whoop, we can go back. So what do we have here? Literally, we can use keyboard, we can install some application. For the example, you can install YouTube. If you want to go back, you can click here. It all depends on you. I will press enter, click install. And just wait until it will be download and install in Android Studio. Okay, we can click open. Let's try to launch YouTube. I will select my Google account. Surprisingly, I see my last video, how to convert MBR to GPT. I recommend to watch this video, so let's press enter. As you can see, everything works. So, yep, you can use Google TV on your Windows 10 or Windows 11 PC. For this, you just need to install Android Studio. And of course, after that, you will be able to use Android Studio as a TV. If you pay attention here, we can change the volume. I can make it much higher. You can find good option in every single bias. In my case, I need to go to the startup. Actually, that's not This is very convenient. If we want to go back, we can hit this icon. Yep, literally, I'm using Google TV on my laptop. It's possible. Android Studio gives you opportunity to install application that will suit you the best, and you can use Google TV on your Windows PC. It all depends on you. If this video was useful for you, please like it, and I recommend watching video where I review Google Play Games Beta for a PC.